So version 0 0.113 has come out, and just by looking at the Sprocket Discord, <laughs> this update is funky. So, I know this update looks complicated and daunting to many people, but trust me, it's not what it may seem. Look at those curves. Making complex vehicles aren't possible without splitting your tank. To split your tank, you click base, edges, toggle selection, then split. Splitting increases the amount of edges, vertices, and faces, but at the same time decreases them in size, which opens way for you to make cursed vehicles. The more you split, the more complex your build will be. Now, making complex vehicles comes with practice, and to practice, you need to play around with it. And if you're having trouble grasping the concept of these three, vertices should be used for precision, edges should be used for angling, and faces should be used for scaling or extending the tank. Now I'm down. The way you armor your vehicle is by clicking the hull or turret, depending on where you want to armor your vehicle, of course. Select faces, then click on the spot where you want to armor your vehicle, and simply just slide the slider to fit your criteria. Now, due to the faces getting smaller and increasing in numbers from splitting, I suggest to armor your vehicle as the first thing you do. Well, at least one of the first things you do before you split it, as it's less tedious when you're doing it after you split it. EXTRA STUFF! <laughs> this update now gives players the ability to scale, move, and rotate objects to whatever they fancy. And to do this is very simple. Spawn the object you want to edit, let's say this fuel tank, right click, then select scale, move, or rotate. They also gave the players to add as much turds as they want! Except you can't put guns on them yet, so it kind of defeats the purpose of it. Of course, this update isn't sunshine and rainbows, as this update made this game insanely buggy. Some of these bugs include not being able to spawn your vehicle, not being able to delete objects, whatever the fuck this is. On top of that, the weight of everyone's tank is glitched. But again, this game is being developed by one person, so I'll give them some slack. The only way to fix these bugs if you ever encounter them is to leave and rejoin the map you are on. So for now, I suggest saving your vehicle frequently just in case. And that's it. I wish you all luck and take care.